Nasal intubation is generally done in the awake, spontaneously breathing patient when there is an advantage to avoiding laryngoscopy, such as with a cervical neck fracture. Check the endotracheal tube cuff for leaks by inflating and deflating the balloon with 10 milliliters of air. Coat the end and cuff of the unstylated tube with viscous lidocaine jelly. If warm saline is available, the tube may first be soaked for three minutes and then the procedure is performed. Place the tube gently in the nose and advance it using the technique described for the nasal airway. Gently extend the neck if the tube is difficult to pass. Watch for signs of fogging or condensation in the tube as the tube approaches the vocal cords. The quality of the voice may also change. Ask the patient to breathe deeply and gently advance the tube through the cords while they are open during the inspiration. The patient should immediately lose phonation, inflate the cuff, verify position, and secure as for an oral endotracheal tube.